Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today, guys, we're actually going to be trying to see if we can find an R8 somewhere. Uh, my goal is to just go look at an R8, set a goal for, you know, 2019 or 20, maybe even 2020. You never know, but I want to go look at one of my most dreamed dreamed of cars, which is the Audi R8. And I forgot this door is a little bit of an issue. We're taking Jonathan Z, by the way. I hope you guys are enjoying the, kind of these vlog videos. They're simply trying to vlog. Oh, well, the window just rolled on its own. I guess it's a plus, right? That's good right there. <laughs> <laughs> we're just gonna I'm just gonna be trying to vlog I hope you guys enjoy the last vlog we're just gonna be vlogging a little bit for the next a couple days until I can win a car from the auction um, anyways oh. we're, my goal today is to go find an R8 at a dealership like an actual actual dealership so it's not gonna be as awkward um, than like a family owned business but if I can't do that we'll try to do something fun today in this video right now I'm actually gonna learn how to uh, how do you say it? Downshift. downshift. I don't even think you know how to downshift. I mean, I don't know how to do it properly. But. Yeah, so we're going to figure out how to downshift real quick because my next car is going to be a manual. So that's something I'm going to tell you guys. Next car is going to have to be a manual. I'm only looking for a manual. Uh, I'm selling two cars to get a manual. So it better be a manual. Uh, so I'm going to learn how to downshift because I think that's like one of the coolest things. Um, but yeah, a lot to do today. I know my brother's finally getting the logo for his car. So uh, you're going to be seeing him later today. And uh, we're going to be seeing him with his car one more time because, uh, bro, the wheels are amazing. So cool. And for those of you guys who don't know, I do know how to drive stick. This was my car before I gave it to Jonathan. So, you know, I learned. Uh, I'm not a professional, but that's why I'm trying to see if I can downshift today. But right now, we're just going out for a little drive, waiting for my brother to get home. Uh, we're going to try to see if we can downshift, get some coffee. But let's see if we can, I don't know, let's see if, let's see if I can do it. So he said gas clutch in and then uh oh so I have to use two of my is it heel toe? I have to actually use both my feet. Alright, so we're in third gear. So clutch in. Okay, so we're at I'm gonna keep trying to get under 2000. Give a little bit of gas, clutch in. That wasn't too bad, right? No, that's alright. Okay, I still don't understand the concept. But, <laughs> Jonathan, I'm sorry if I blow your clutch. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'll buy the car, don't worry about it. <laughs> oh shit. We'll get back to you guys when we actually master this. Oh my lord, you guys! It's an R8! Focusing! No, please, please no, focus! Focusing. No! Guys, no, I promise that was an R8. It's not that big of a deal. Oh, there it is. You can see it. I can still see it, guys. What are the odds? It's in the morning. In the morning, too. Single focus. You can't even see it. Camera sucks. Shut your ass up. It's right there, right? You can see yeah, it. Yeah, you can see it. All right, that's all then. I don't think my downshifting's on par because he just kicked me out of the car. <laughs> I'll be passenger. Oh man. Yes, I don't understand. Like I was able to downshift, but I wasn't able to get like the sound, like the actual pops and shit of a downshift. I mean, it was just like a smooth transition. There was no pops. So I don't know what I did wrong, but I have to look into that some more. Oh shit. <laughs> Window doesn't go down. That one's good. Oh, yeah, that's what we're talking about. <laughs> Quality. <laughs> All right, um, let's see my brother if he dirtied up the car again. So, oh, right off the bat, there's a bird shit. <laughs> Didn't clean that off, he just left it on the wrap. Um, the wheels are already, you can see how it's all muddy because he got he drove it on the dirt. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much, let's see if there's any other bird shit he needs to clean up for me. There's a little one right there on the bumper too, I'll mention that. <laughs> no, <I'm kidding. laughs> I mean, come on, the, it was all over the window too. He's cleaning the car this time, he's cleaning the car. I cleaned up his car, I put the wheels on it, he's cleaning up this car. 
Well, actually, my brother parked on the regular lot this time, so sorry. Sorry, sorry yeah. for that, deal. Apparently. But you still could you could have controlled the bird shit. Yeah. Maybe, so maybe if I aimed them a little better. Yeah. Well, you know, if if you see a shit coming out, just break. <laughs> you want to <laughs> people believe you try to fill my space I can't believe that all these new friends I think I'm losing track All right guys so we're just going to go ahead and uh work on my brother's car actually so we, he does have to do headlight brake smog and CHP unfortunately CHP is something that he got super unlucky with um, I don't think Yusuf has to do it because his title is California Certified. This one is not California Certified, so he does have to do CHP. Um, luckily, we got an appointment coming up soon. We are kind of scared about the intake. We don't have any problems with CHP, so we're going to go ahead and uh, remove the intake, put the stock air box, make it work, and uh, get the smog done and get the CHP done without any issues, hopefully. So let's just get the, let's go ahead and put this thing back to stock. Okay, got it. Okay. Alright, cool. Alright guys, so I just want to show you something. My brother's getting some scissors for Johnny over here. Uh, see if we can get you guys to see the MST. Alright, so you guys see the MST logo down there? All the way down there, MST. That's the inlet. I don't want them to even see that if they put a flashlight in there. Because again, I don't know why they put a flashlight in my 335 engine bay. I think because I have all those blue vacuum lines. But anyways, better to be safe than sorry. We're just going to put some, uh, I don't know why it's not focusing down there. We're just going to put some electrical tape on the MST. And uh, we should be fine. No, you're so smart. Look at that. Jonathan even is going to put a flashlight. You can see the electrical tape like right there. Super shiny, but you can't see MST anymore. So that's perfect. So that got covered up. I really don't want to remove the inlet. That's why, because I don't want to go through all that again. But now we plugged in the vacuum. We got the sensor in here. Um, so all we got to do now is pretty much just get this thing to fit. And hopefully it'll fit with my brother's car. Because remember, you guys, we had a small issue with the fender gaps. So a little bit of the things are kind of like this way on each side. But hopefully everything will just line up. And we'll show you guys uh, the process. Alright, so Jeff had a good idea to, uh, to pretty much tape it up back here. So we have the hose in there. It's taped up, which is good. Um, and actually it's all the way in there. Like we have like this much that's in the actual intake. We have the sensor plugged in. Uh, these are the screws from the MST intake. Uh, we have this hooked up, so that alignment was perfect. And if you guys come on to this side, we have that plugged in, which is good news because that one's a little bit bent as you guys can see, but still works. And then this one's a little bit off, but who cares, just gonna leave it. Like that doesn't really matter. I actually might even just zip tie it down, just so. We get no problems, and then that's it. It's good to go with the original intake in the car. So this thing should not pass smog and pass CHP inspection with no issues. And then we can finally start doing all the crazy stuff. We want to work with Keys Motorsports to get the rear bumper, the side skirts, get it all painted, paint match, the steering wheel. We're going to lower the car because you guys saw uh, the we actually got some wheels. So you guys are wanting, you guys have been wanting to see a wheel setup. So we got some wheels. We're about to lower the car. Um, this car is going to look pretty darn nice, and it's going to be my brother's new daily. Um, I'm going to be working on a project together after I get my next project. So my next project I'm going to end up keeping. So that's, that just shows you guys how much I would really, really want this next car. Hopefully we get it in the next couple days, or probably even the next video. You never know. Um, and if I end up getting that build, that build I'm keeping. Unlike the 335, which I told you guys I was thinking about keeping, this build I'm keeping. All right, guys. Now, I don't know if you guys know, but the 330i is also being sold in the very near future. So, um, I do want to do a little last mod. We put on the, you know, the carbon fiber mirror caps. Let me go ahead and show you guys the car real quick. So, here's the 330i. We got the carbon fiber mirrors, which honestly, I love so much. They actually look so good that I'm pretty sure I'm going to get the exact same company to get these exact same mirror caps on my 330i. I mean, my next car um it's not a 330i luckily i didn't actually say the name because that would have got me kind of upset but um yeah i love those mirror caps we got one more last mod i want to do to the car before we actually uh sell it to this next person this next person is a subscriber and uh, he's not paying me any more to do what i'm doing i just want to do it to make the car as nice as possible for him so what we're going to be doing right now um i have this extra trim that i went ahead and sanded down this was like about a week ago i haven't actually did the project yet and uh, i got some i got some adhesive spray basically it just adhesive spray. I spray it on the plastic and then what I'm going to be putting on it is something pretty neat. I don't know if you guys have ever done Alcantara stitching, suede switch, uh, stitching. I'm basically just going to be stitching on some suede, not stitching on, but just spraying down some suede onto here and uh, pretty much adhering it onto here and then cutting, you know, all this stuff. 
And hopefully, it should be easy. I don't know, I'm hoping it'd be something like, kind of like wrap, but we'll have to see. I'm hoping it's easy so you guys can do it. But uh, you guess you, I guess you guys will find out on my expense. That's the whole point of these videos. So you guys watch other people fail um, or succeed, and then you can decide whether or not you want to do it. So guys, this just takes a lot of time. I want to. I want to hand in most of this side. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this thing up, and I'll get back to you guys. All right, guys. So I got pretty much all this part done. Uh, suede is a pain in my booty. It keeps getting all these weird little whatever marks, but hey, it looks clean. Um, just gotta cut a hole here, cut a hole here, and then I should be done. This is a pain in my booty. I did not think it would be that hard, but it's not hard, but it just it's time consuming and it's really sticky. So. Um, let's just finish this up. All right, guys. Alcantara uh, suede is done. So we're gonna go ahead and remove the other one off the 330i and go ahead and install this one. This looks super dope. So let's go ahead and install. And hopefully uh, the buttons fit through there without peeling any of the the suede. I mean, it is sticky and it's it's in there, but I'm wondering how the buttons are able to go through without scraping through the sides. We'll see how that works out. We're moving right now. All right, guys. Look at the little shit, mother. Oh my lord. Let's go ahead and install this Alcantara. Um, a uh, little thingy big bobber. Hello. Welcome. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm so awkward. Right? Oh. Oh. oh my god. So, guys, this actually was very easy to unplug, and I'm actually just gonna put it right here. I'm really not even gonna unplug the battery, because then I have to disconnect all this stuff, and I have to plug the battery. Ain't nobody got time for that. We're just trying to replace this trim. So there's four bolts holding this little trim thing. Actually, I just remembered. You probably don't even have to take out the airbag for this step. I think you could just take out the trim. Don't worry about it. I have the airbag out. I'm just gonna go ahead and let this let it sit here. I have to take out the three screws that are behind the steering wheel, and then this whole trim thing should come out, and I should replace it with this beautiful suede. All right, guys. Um, I just got the trim in here. The paddle's in here. I'm gonna go ahead and do the finishing touch. Stop in this airbag. Make sure none of the wires are in the way, by the way, guys. So you don't mess up any. Yeah, like right there. Wow. Just some my paddles. Don't want to mess those suckers up. They're not cheap. Let's go ahead and slap that in. All right, and uh, that completes that. Let me go ahead and uh, set up the car. Make sure everything works. It actually looks so much better. Are they seeing that? Kind of dark. But... Go ahead and put the flashlight on for you guys. That looks so much better. They see that now, right? Mm -hmm. Just a little bit of crease right there. God, I'll probably get fixed later. But honestly, came out really dope. And that, I mean, I did this for probably under fifteen dollars in total. So I think it's a pretty worth it mod. Let's go ahead and check the paddles one more time, see if they work. So. Put it in sport. We got downshift. That works. Upshift. That works. So, uh, one business. That was a pretty easy mod. I don't know why I did that last, and I'm probably going to title the video, like, you know, Alcantara wrap or some shit. Anyways, uh, yeah, we just did all kinds of stuff today. Now I've got to go inside and do some homework because uh, I'm not a blessed co uh, YouTuber that has lots of money and I can drop out of college and live on my own. Anyways, if you guys want to help me do that, smash that like button. And uh, without further ado, guys, love you guys so much. Remember to stay humble. See you guys in the next one. Peace out. She got me saying, Yalla, huh, baby. I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy. She got me saying, Yalla, huh, baby. I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy. You know.